would like to talk about Helinox's tracking pole, and in particular the TL series. The T stands for tension and the L stands for lock. Behind the TL you will find a number and it indicates the maximum length of the tracking pole. These tracking poles are very compact, very small and very lightweight. In fact, the smallest one is only 152 grams. The way they work is by applying tension. It's very easy to do this. You pull this and a button will snap into place and it will provide the tension to the core that's in these tracking poles. Now all the segments are lined up which ensures that this is a very strong and very lightweight uh, tracking pole. Also the material is very unique. It's the strongest weight to strength alloy we could think of. These tracking poles are not adjustable in length so you will have to figure out which length is best for you. We also have the same tracking pole with the addition ADJ which stands for adjustable. That means that the tracking pole works in the exact same way as the other one. On top of that we have this twist system so you can vary the length. Besides this adjustment system we also have another one. This one is the LTL and the L stands for lever. Uh, this one in particular is the LTL 135 so the maximum length is 135 centimeters. The way to use it is the same but now you have a lever to play with when it comes to adjusting the length. The one thing that's unique to Helinox is the lever resting zone. There's a dimple right here that ensures that when you store it, there's not much pressure on the lever at all. All of these uh, trekking poles have different segments, but despite that, they still feel as one piece, one solid piece. And it's noiseless, meaning that all the mechanisms within this trekking pole work flawlessly. They are very lightweight and very strong. They come with a solid mounted tungsten carbide tip. They all have um, high quality foam grips. All these trekking poles, they come with a walking tip, but of course there's some accessories you might consider as well. In snowy conditions, we have the snow basket and there's also a powder basket. You have to buy them separately and it really depends on the situation you're in. So it's up to you.